hands down the best reliability upgrade you can make for your supercharged SeaDoo, assuming it's 2007 or older, is to update to the 2008 and up supercharger oiling system. A 07 or earlier model has this little silver guy here. I'll show a picture of that. And it basically just directs a mist of oil in the general direction of the supercharger clutches and bearings and those things. The problem with that is you're not directly oiling it. The supercharger in these could be spinning at 50,000 RPM or thereabouts roughly. Um, and if you have something spinning that fast, the amount of force trying to sling oil off of it is incredible. So directing a little mist or even a jet at it, it's just going to bounce off and fly away. So nothing's getting oiled, nothing's getting cooled. But the new style, 2008 and up, uses a banjo fitting and this kind of bent hose contraption to direct oil into the supercharger shaft. They use a hollow shaft now, and that hollow shaft directs the oil in and then it gets slung out through the clutches. So it keeps those clutches nice and cool, even in the harshest conditions, which has to be one of the biggest reasons that you very rarely see 2008 and up machines fail, uh, catastrophically anyways, with a supercharger. Um, that doesn't mean that you can get away with doing less maintenance. You should still be keeping up on your rebuild schedule and things of that nature, but 07 and earlier that used ceramic washers and the old style oiling system instead of this, I see a lot higher rate of failure. So this is a must have upgrade. So let's grab a pair of vice grips and rip this thing out of here so that we can tap it and get the new style one installed. So essentially, if we get on the flat side of this, we can grip this get a good grip on it and twist it wiggle it twist it wiggle it and it'll pop out there we have it wherever it's focused there we have it so we want to clean this out there's a little bit of oil a little bit of goop in there we're going to tap that anyways though, so it'll have to be cleaned out after the threads are run in there. Anyways, so here's our tap. This is a M10 1.5 tap, so let's uh, tap this hole. Okay, now our next step is to take our new oil feed, just screw that in part way, and look at where you're going to want this little bracket, see the hole right here, to line up at, and you're going to get that and mark that with something so that you can drill a hole there. Okay. So I made a little scratch there. So we're gonna take drill. If we'll focus on the drill. Doesn't look like we're gonna focus. Take a drill and we're gonna drill a hole there. don't have to go crazy deep, but a good three quarters of an inch or so, so that you can tap enough thread to get one of those short little bolts in there. So we're going to tap that hole with this M6 by 1.0 tap. So 
Now we can put our little M6 bolt in there to hold this up in place. Um, you should use some blue Loctite unless your bolt already has Loctite on it like this one that I ordered does. That is nice and tight. So now that we've got our support bracket on, we'll tighten up our banjo fitting with a six millimeter hex. Okay, so now that is installed. But you're not quite done yet, because what you need to do is just slide the supercharger into the back and make sure this is lined up properly. And if it's not, just bend it a little bit one way or the other with a pair of pliers until it lines right up to the center of the shaft on the supercharger. So let's do that real fast. Look, it's pretty close, but it's a little bit too far this way. If we just take a pair of pliers ever so gently. Tweak that down until it is dead square in the center of that. That's just about perfect. And it's directed very good. So we're tight here, we're tight here, and we are aligned right here. So pull our temporary supercharger back out. So that's really all there is to it. Getting that uh, 2008 and up supercharger oiling modification done to this uh, pre-2008 machine. So that'll make my supercharger last a whole lot longer and hopefully be able to uh, handle some of the other upgrades I've got in mind down the road. So there we have it.